The new Horizon Race Off Takeover update has just been announced. It's got 10 new cars, a new car pack, a new community challenge with new cars as rewards, event lab props and much more. This video will show you everything. Subscribe if you enjoy. So this update will release on the 26th of March at 5pm UK time. That is Tuesday and the series itself will begin on Thursday the 28th of March as we can see here. Let's take a look at the festival playlist first as four of the new cars are within there. The Audi S1 number 2 and the Lamborghini Gallardo Spider can be found on the full series as rewards. Neither of them are new. The first week has a new car, it's the McLaren Artura and you can get it for 20 points. Got a bit of gameplay of that car on screen right now. The 40 point reward for the first week is the Porsche McCann RR. The Forza Lunch Shop has the Porsche 959, the Aston Martin Vantage and a few other bits and bobs. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. Pause if you want to see them. The Audi TT RS 2020 is the second new car that you can get on the second week for 20 points. For 40 points you can get the Honda Trophy from 2015, the Bugatti Chiron, the Mercedes-Benz racing truck can be found in the Forza Lund shop and of course all of the other championships, events, challenges, everything else. The Ford Mustang SVT from 2003 is the third new car for 20 points in winter the third week. For 40 points in winter you can get the Toyota 4Runner, the TVR and Aston Martin Vulcan AMR are in the Forza Dunn shop along with all of the other challenges here but the new car of that third week is the Ford Mustang SVT. The fourth week has the fourth new car, the Jaguar F-Type SVR for 20 points that is. For 40 points you can get the number 42 Extreme E and the Forza Lunch Shop has the Ferrari FXXK and the Ford Escort RS1800. Here are the rest of the challenges on that fourth week but the new car for that fourth week was the Jag. So that's got four of the new cars. There are four more new cars in the new car pack. It's called the Acceleration Car Pack and it's got four really cool cars. The 2021 McLaren Sabre, the 2019 Ginetta G10 RM, the 1967 Shelby GT500, I've got some gameplay of that, roll it, and the 2022 Ford Supervan 4. I also have clips of that, that will roll in a second. Courtesy of Turn 10, I am actually giving away some codes for this car pack. As always, if you want a chance to win some codes, I'm giving away quite a few. To enter, just make sure you're subscribed and comment your gamer tag. I'll pick a load of people and message you a code. That's for the McLaren, the Ginetta, the Shelby, and the Ford Supervan, really cool. Now there are two more new cars and these come as rewards in the new Horizon Race Off community event. Let's look at that now. The Horizon Festival teams up to beat the goals and unlock rewards for every member in the community. Horizon Race Off pitches two new community wide goals for our players to complete by collectively completing certain types of events. After each goal is met we will all receive a new car. So there is a new car in the new Asphalt Racers goal and another new car in the Off Road Racers goal. We have to work together to complete Asphalt Races to get the new car there and off-road races and events to get the new car there. You can complete any of the types of events on screen right now if you want to contribute towards the Asphalt Racers goal. The new car for the community completing that is the 2024 Ford Mustang GT. That is an awesome car. So we will all get that whenever we complete the Asphalt Racers goal. To contribute towards the off-road racers goal we have to do any of these on-screen events again mostly off-road stuff now if we complete that goal and reach it we'll get the 2023 ford f-150 raptor r that is the 10th new car of this month 
the final new car. It does note that doing events to contribute towards any of these particular challenges, rivals, showcases, horizon stories, expeditions or event lab events will not count towards a contribution of either goal. So that tells me that all of the events they have to be doing to, to contribute towards these goals have to be already in the game, not community created events. There are some new evolving world features that are related to the new Horizon Race Off community challenge. There are some Horizon Race Off outposts which we can find around the map, one per week. So I can presume there's four locations and each location it pops up every week. These outposts will actually have a leaderboard which will reflect the in-game progress for the two challenges. You can also find in the progress for these challenges on the festival playlist page as you can see right here. But there's also an in-game leaderboard as well at these outposts which is pretty cool. There's a new piñata collectible, it's a, little, it's a little helmet as you can see on screen right here. In week two it will be an off-road helmet in Playa Azul and in week three it's an asphalt helmet in however you say that place. There's a new accolade and it is for collecting all of the new cars within this month including the two from the community challenge. There are two new Horizon Race Off outfits that we're actually all getting for free on the 28th of March. That is the Thursday when the season changes over. Check your in-game message center and you'll receive these two themed Horizon Race Off outfits for free. There are some new event lab props. Now I wish I had clips of these but unfortunately I don't. There's some signs and some flags. There's some a festival props and some generic festival props. There are some walls and fences with snap functionality and two gameplay props which are the two collectibles that we can collect earlier on. It's great to see how many event lab props are being added to the game. There's just more and more every month. There's obviously some bugs and fixes coming within this update as well. They've only highlighted four of them. There's probably going to be more than this so if you're if you're having an issue and it's not on this list don't worry just yet. And that's it. That is the full Horizon Race Off Takeover update. What we've got on screen right now is the new event lab of the month that's included within this series. It's quite an interesting one, so I'll let it play for a little bit while I just talk about a few other interesting things. The next update is Apex All Stars. We're going to talk about that specifically in a couple of weeks. But to sum it up, it's got new cars, a new collectible, new event lab props, and new events. Looks like it could be quite good. This update has actually proven a lot of our previously talked about leaks to be accurate as well. Quite a few of the new cars in this update were actually predicted a good few months back we've been talking about them for a while so it's, it's cool to see that these are making it to the game eventually it does make me wonder though where on earth is a maserati mc12 all in all a pretty solid update if you ask me i know the ford mustang gt that is the reward for the asphalt racers that is really high up on the top voted car list so again they are still proving to us that they are focusing on the the cars that we vote for so i'll remind you all again go to the suggestion so make sure you're voting for cars and features that you want to have that you want to see come to forza horizon 5 as they keep bringing the ones that we vote for the most the ford mustang's proof of that considering the game is over two years old now this update is actually pretty strong in terms of all of the new cars the new community event which is quite good another new car pack they really are smashing it it's great to see leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone i hope you have i'll see you in the next video